Hello, in this demonstration I am going to show you how to create an Exchange 2010 Outlook Web App mailbox policy and then link it to a recipient within your Exchange 2010 organization. For demonstration reasons we are going to use the recipient Bobby Rockstar and we are going to use the feature Change Password. So if we click on Options in Bobby Rockstar logged into Outlook Web App you will see that we can change your password and if we click on change password Bobby Rockstar can put in his current password and change it to a new password. I'm going to go ahead and close Outlook Web App and jump into my Exchange Management Console. This is where we need to go to establish a new Outlook Web App mailbox policy. So within the Exchange Management Console you need to expand the Microsoft Exchange on-premises and then expand Organization Configuration. From here you will highlight Client Access and then the action bar click on New Outlook Web App Mailbox Policy. I need to give the Web App Mailbox Policy a name so I will call it OWA Mailbox Policy Restrict Change Password. And in the features list you'll see there are a lot of features that you can disable for your recipients. In this demonstration I am going to scroll down to change password and I will disable change password, click on new and then click on finish and we have now created an Outlook Web App mailbox policy. The next step is to link this policy to a recipient. So if I expand recipient configuration highlight mailbox, locate the recipient I'd like to uh, link the policy to and this is Bobby Rockstar. If I right click on Bobby Rockstar and left click on properties or if I highlight Bobby Rockstar go to the action bar and left click on properties I get Bobby Rockstar properties open. From here I'll click on the mailbox features tab and I'll highlight Outlook web app and left click properties. I now need to check the box Outlook Web App Mailbox Policy and then browse for the policy I've just created. So there it is, OWA Mailbox Policy Restrict Change Password. We'll click OK and we'll click OK and we'll click OK to close Bobby Rockstar's properties. I've now created a policy and applied that policy to Bobby Rockstar. So let's try it out. Let's launch our browser and my browser's homepage is set to my Outlook web app website. I need to continue to this website and click OK. That's an error message because I do not have a trusted certificate. And from here Bobby Rockstar needs to log on. And we're logged in as Bobby Rockstar and I'm going to click on options and changing password is no longer an option for Bobby Rockstar. So this concludes my presentation on how to create an Outlook web app policy and apply that policy to a recipient. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and thank you for watching.